Hey, how's it going out there, everybody? This is Joe coming back. Um, we're gonna do a quick uh, review video of the bench I bought. Um, it's Gold's Gym XRS 20. Been using it now for a week or so. Some things I like, some things I don't like, but the things I don't like are minor and easily fixed. But um, let me go over a few things that definitely is an advantage to having this weight bench compared to others. Um, it's a bench you can buy it's two separate pieces and you can actually buy the two pieces separate you can either get the i guess it would be the bench with the leg press or you can get the um squat rack separate definitely like the the having the leg press and stuff like that I like to work out my legs since i ride bikes and stuff um keeps my legs in shape i haven't worked out in quite a while and haven't been riding a whole lot here in the past few years and i want to really get back into doing that um got 70 pounds on there right now and it's when i'm doing my bicep curls and my rows it's pretty good weight but when i'm doing the leg presses it's definitely not enough weight for my leg press at one time i was doing quite a bit of weight on a different type of machine i had a uh I think it was a Marcy all-in-one machine, but I got rid of it quite a few years back, and I've decided I just need to get back into working out and stuff like that and into shape. Um, definitely like this. This helps with doing the arm curls and rows and stuff like that. Take it on and off if you want. Have it out of the way. I'm just going to leave it on because I use it all the time. Um, it's easy to change the weights in and out since it's the Olympic weights. And if you have just regular weights and not Olympics on this, you can take plastic piece off of there it's just held on by set screws and just use regular um standard weights i got a whole olympic weight set anyway because the bar i got is a uh, olympic bar um one thing i probably don't like is just there's not a bumper right here i might see if i can find something to put a bumper there it's not a big deal right now but eventually it will be when i start putting on more weight probably put my 45s on there at some point here shortly um it's got the pad here the pads on this is probably one of the things i don't like um just the way this is and it's got this this right here i can feel it when i'm working out and stuff like that uh starting to kind of curl around so i'm sure that'll eventually break down but it won't be too big a deal because um it just won't really bother me too much but it's definitely something that's going to give out on this another thing let me grab these is I've seen complaints about by other people is these pieces right here that go on this um, When I move this in and out from the squat rack when I want to do squats this pops on and off I think what I'm going to do to remedy this is I'm going to get some self tappers and run through it Put it back on and run through it at an angle Triangle four of them that way uh, it won't pull off and it'll make it easier to slide in and out or I might find you know still do that and find something I could put underneath piece of metal with a or something I don't know what yet to let it slide a little bit better but that's just a minor thing for now I'm just gonna leave them off so it's no big deal also with this right here bar it comes with the plug to put it in and out where if you want this on here or not if you're doing um uh, I guess be working your calf muscles off of this right here. Take this out and put the plug in. If I ever do that, I'm just leaving the plug out because it's ridiculous to be able to have to put the plug in and work out and whatever and then take find something to pry back out with. It's just it's a silly thing. I don't understand it. I guess it's just a cosmetic thing, but it's no big deal. Um, on the squat rack, I definitely like the fact that it has these since I work out alone. Um, I can adjust these. To where uh wherever i need it at right now i got it to where i'm doing my bench presses so that nothing will happen there definitely it's pretty sturdy and thick and strong when um changed out to the squat rack i just raise these up here and they raise up fairly easy drop this bar off of here then um i can unscrew these and this just raises up to the height i needed at for my uh to do my squats and stuff like that it makes it a lot easier and i just do it in reverse to get it back down to the bench presses um definitely like the fact that i can keep my weights right here my extra weights these are probably going to disappear and not be on here anymore because i ordered some uh 
dumbbells and a curl bar to be able to use these extra weights get a little bit different um work out in on my arms in different ways work out different muscles because i know just doing the stuff that i'm doing is not getting everything how i want to do it and stuff like that especially be able to uh, need to be able to do some curls one thing this rack doesn't have is um butterflies which is no big deal for me uh smaller shorter guy and normally on the benches the butterflies are definitely a little bit spread out too far for me to be able to use so when i get my other bars which hopefully will be tomorrow i'll pick them up i can use my other little small bench over here i got that i do my um stomach crunches and stuff on and i got some weights right now i've been doing uh butterfly curls and stuff on and i'll just start using them on that It'd be a little bit different weight and i can change them in and out and stuff like that and we're just some cheap ass weights and when i use them that it, the weights kind of feel floppy around. I'm afraid something's going to fall off or some nonsense like that. Um, got me a weight belt just for when I'm doing my squats and stuff like that. So I don't throw my back out. It actually helps you keep it better. I guess um, you're back at the right position when you're squatting so you don't hurt yourself. Have my um, pad for my neck too. Another thing that um, some people talked about is if you're a short person, um, the rack tends to be uh seems too big which it kind of is but it kind of works out for me because i i can get my kind of got this to where i can get it set when i move it in and out to where i need it um i usually just i'll put my feet on this right here on this bar which raise my feet up some which is no big deal i can do that with uh when i'm doing my um arm curls and rows too and what's weird is i have to put my butt kind of in this crack right here not set it on this pad that way it'll uh i know exactly where i'm at and it kind of i got a weird curve in my back and a little bit thicker butt than most people so it um kind of lowers my butt a little bit and gets me a little bit flatter on the bench and makes it feel a little bit better when i'm lifting too like that definitely um a little bit more expensive benches than most you can you know usually get a decent bench for under 100 bucks you can get some benches like a hundred bucks with 80 or 100 pounds worth of weight but it's not what i wanted because this had everything i wanted to work I wanted to be able to start doing squats and stuff like that and wanted to do an all-around try and bulk up period i want to be in, get in good shape fit where someone sees me and like they know hey you know this dude's in pretty good shape and stuff like that i want to work out every you know muscle that i can in my body and get to where i can um so definitely like that and this rack can hold the weight that I got, which probably be a while before I'll be using that weight. But I have it when I'm ready to use it and I can switch stuff around and, and uh, whatnot. Because I paired the XRS 20 with a, it's a Gold's Gym Bench with the um, their 300-pound uh, uh, weight set with uh, the uh, Olympic bar too. Which I find to be good. They don't seem cheap. I mean, they're just, I guess, some cast ones, but don't feel all jagged or anything like that. A lot of people have bought other sets and talked about how they, you know, that the paint feels like it's chipping off the black ones and um, feel jagged and stuff like that. I don't like that. I also like the fact that you know these have the grips on it where you can use them free to do different type of exercises and stuff with just the weights alone themselves. So the reality is I, I like the bench. It's got a few quirks to it, but it's nothing I can't deal with and work around and I'm not unhappy with it at all. It still boils down to most things in life. It's all about personal preference and what you are looking for, what you're wanting to do and stuff like that. And this kind of fit the bill of what I'm wanting to do and where I'm wanting to go. And it allows me to continue on um, with more and more instead of you know getting to a point where i'm gonna have to you know change up everything and get all new again this just i'm here so i can just keep on going so i hope this helps out some people um it's just a continuation of my body transformation thing and stuff like that just trying to build myself up to where i want to be and hopefully i can get it there thanks for watching bye